everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm six months pregnant now and I'm always getting asked what I eat on a daily basis since being pregnant because I am plant-based, I eat a vegan diet, what exercise I do to stay healthy and what my pregnancy beauty routine is. So in this video, I've partnered up with FabFitFun and we're gonna run through everything. So I'm gonna basically show you guys a typical daily routine for me now that I'm pregnant. All right, let's get into it. In the morning, the first thing I do when I wake up is I make coffee. I am not a morning person, so without coffee, I honestly wouldn't be able to get out of bed. When you're pregnant, the daily caffeine limit is 200 milligrams, as far as I'm aware, so I try to stay well under that by only having half a teaspoon of coffee. I usually add a splash of non-dairy milk to my coffee, but of course I just check the fridge and we've only got a drop left which I really want to save for my breakfast bowl, so black coffee it is this morning. Next, I head to my beauty room to drink my coffee while I put my face on for the day. Today, I'm just doing my regular makeup routine of a smoky brown eye and neutral lip. Even though I'm a makeup artist, I'm pretty boring when it comes to doing my own everyday makeup and I pretty much stick with what I know suits me. I'll link all the products and brushes I used in the description box down below for you guys. Once my makeup is on and my coffee is drunk, I go and make my breakfast. Today I'm making an acai smoothie bowl, which is so quick and easy, but full of nutrients and totally delicious too. I put in one banana, a handful of frozen strawberries and a teaspoon of wheatgrass. Next, I add the tiny bit of non-dairy milk that I have left and blend it all up. Then, on top of my acai bowl, I add granola, flax meal, chia seeds and hemp seeds for their amazing omegas and nutrients and half another banana sliced up. Delicious, lightweight and packed with goodness. So I received this box in the mail a few days ago. Look at the pure size of it. It's huge and it's so heavy. Like it's literally full to the brim of products. This is from FabFitFun. Now FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box so it comes out four times a year. There's a new box for every season. I've got the summer box. In the FabFitFun boxes there's everything from wellness products to beauty products, homeware items. So in each box there'll usually be a really good mix of those different items. Also you don't just get samples in these boxes you get full-sized items which is awesome. FabFitFun has recently launched in the UK as well so if you're in the UK you can now get your hands on these boxes as well whereas previously you couldn't you now can. Even though you can now purchase these boxes the price will be charged in US dollars and you guys probably already know this but as with any conversion the price is subject to foreign exchange rates and transaction fees applied by your bank. This box here is worth over £150 in value but when you sign up to FabFitFun you get the entire box for under £50. Oh my god, it's so big! That's what she said. So the first thing that came in my box is a little FabFitFun magazine. So it tells you about the products that are included in the box so you can read about them, find out about them. Yay! I'm so excited about this. So the first product I pulled out is the Triple One Skin Harley Street London Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Sheet Masks. I've honestly been so obsessed with sheet masks recently. I used to think they were a bit of a gimmick and I was like, eh. I'm really lazy with my beauty routine like I'm certainly not gonna be bothered to be sat there for 15 minutes with a sheet mask on my face why not just wear a regular mask and then I actually tried one and I had to eat my words basically because my skin literally looked so good afterwards it felt like a baby's bum my fine lines were actually plumped and I was like oh my god these things actually work and since then I've been so obsessed with them I try and do at least two every week if I remember so I'm so pleased that these are included in the box. Oh, by the way, guys, you get five of them in here. Hey, so that's what they look like inside the box. I'm gonna leave this one out because I'm gonna put this on this evening. The next item in the box is the Burn 60 Resistance Band. So in this box, you get three resistance bands. There's a medium band, a heavy band, and a light band. In all honesty, guys, I've got absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do with resistance bands. Fitness is not my forte, but it is the forte of my fiance, Darren. He is a personal trainer. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? For any of you guys that are like me, and our fitness noobs resistance bands are. I'm gonna get Darren in here now to enlighten us. Darren! 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 I'll be back. 
Okay guys, I've got my fiance Darren here. He's gonna to explain to us what you do with resistance bands. So basically their name says what they are. They add resistance to exercises. These are great because you can use them from home. Like you can literally use them anywhere and get a really good workout. They don't actually need to go to a gym to use them. No, you don't have to go to the, you don't have to go to the gym to use resistance bands. A lot of women will use them for building glutes, so you can do a range of different exercises with them. When you say glutes, do you mean your ass? Yeah. Okay. Your your bum. You can use them while you do lunges, use them while you're doing some hip thrusts. So you'll see a lot of people use these when they're doing like a crab walk which is where you kind of you attach it around your thighs and you crouch down and kind of walk side to side and that's going to really work your glutes uh, through a lot of hip movement so you no know, fans are great thank you if you guys could hear a dog barking in the background i don't know if you'll be able to because i have a brand new microphone that cost a fortune so it better be bloody good but if you could hear a dog barking in the background darren was literally just about to walk our dog rocky and i was like quickly come in here explain to us what resistance bands are and rocky is so angry so darren's going out there now to complete the walk right the next product is the Intelligent Nutrients Refining Micro Polish. So this is an exfoliator. It says, super fine treatment gently sweeps away dull surface cells and purifies pores for all skin types. It's organic, it's cruelty free. I wanna smell it so I can see what it smells like. Ooh, that's nice. <sighs> Got a really nice texture it's not gritty like it's not like um you know like the kylie skin walnut scrub for example it's not super gritty like that it's like quite fine it feels really really finely milled so it's not going to scratch your skin so that's good the next product is the soul brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel this is a huge bottle of this it's 385 mils which is massive so this is a shower cream that moisturizes your skin at the same time that you use it i want to smell this too i've become one of those people that likes to sniff products Oh, oh, that literally smells like something that I smelled when I was a kid, but I cannot put my finger on what it is. It smells like a summer holiday that I went on when I was a kid with my family, but I can't think which one. I think to like Southwest Rocks or something. That smells awesome. I cannot wait to use that. Also from the same brand, I received the Soul Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. <laughs> it's infused with all powerful guarana extract. Is this the one that's meant to kind of get rid of cellulite? It says fast absorbing body cream helps tighten and smooth like no other. I can tell you guys my bum needs this desperately. I have so much cellulite on my bum and it doesn't really bother me to be honest. I've always had it even when I was like a teenager and I had to walk to school up this basically vertical hill 40 minutes each way. I should have had and I did have buns of steel like my muscle was crazy. I could probably clench a can between my bum cheeks and crush it but I still had cellulite and I still do have cellulite. So I'll give this a go and I'll see does it actually make a difference or not. Here's another huge product. This is the Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. Hydrating Rose Facial Spray. This is a huge product. Um, 240 mils in fact. So let's open it and see. Pretty. Let's give it a go. I want to smell it. Oh yeah, that smells nice. It just smells like rose water. The next product is the Invisible Traceless Hair Ring Original Duo Pack. I already have a few of these type hair elastics and they're awesome because they don't get tangled in your hair. You can take them in the shower, they don't get wet and soggy and stinky. And I find that these don't leave as many kinks in my hair. Like say, could like today I've straightened my hair for example. If I was to then tie my hair up with a regular hair elastic, it'll leave a kink in my hair. Whereas these ones don't as much, so they're awesome. The next product is the Ico London I Do Liquid Liner in Black. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly in need of new liquid liners. I either use them up or they dry out. So a new one is always welcome in my beauty room. This is waterproof, lash enhancing, and carbon black. That's the size of the nibs. So not too big, not too small. Ooh, that is black. Look at that, guys. The next product is the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. This one's made in Australia. Oh, Bondi Beach. Oh, home. Even though I'm from Cronulla, but hey ho. This is 100 grams. My skin is ridiculously super oily, so I love a good clay mask. Ooh, that's a nice color. That's what the color is like. Definitely got to give this one a go. And then the last product is the Wish Exfoliating Foot Mask. Oh guys, I've never actually tried one of these before, but I think I might have to give it a go. Directions for use. Use ideally at bedtime. Apply liberally to desired area. Go to bed and awake with softer feet. Oh, okay, I definitely will try this. I was scared this was gonna be one of those ones that you know you put it on your feet and then it like peels off peels off the layers, oh, the layers of your like foot skin. I, I cannot be about that. That just grosses me right out. This one doesn't do it, it just softens and smooths your feet with intense hydration. Well, in that case, I'm definitely going to give this a go tonight. And another thing I wanted to mention is I really appreciate that everything in here is recyclable. So there's not like masses of like foam packaging or anything like that. It's all paper. 
all cardboard so it can be recycled. So that's everything I got in my summer Fab Fit Fun box. Also, I should mention to you guys, if you go on the website, it actually gives you the opportunity to customize your box somewhat. So say you can see, for example, what's the season after summer? Summer, autumn. If you can see in your autumn box that there's gonna be products that you're not really keen on trying, you can usually switch them around for something else. So for a lot of the products that are gonna be in the boxes, on the website, you can actually choose do you want this product or the alternate product? For lunch, I'm having leftovers from last night's dinner. I always try to prioritize making my meals from scratch. It takes more time than processed food, obviously, but I love knowing exactly what is in my food and having control over the flavor and nutrient value. Last night, I made mashed potato with spiced homemade beans, which is basically chickpeas and cannellini beans with a coconut tomato sauce. It's my own recipe. I'm working on my own vegan cookbook, so I'll leave the ingredients in the description box down below in case you guys want to make it yourselves. I heat it up in the oven as I'm not a fan of microwaves, and in the meantime, I'm going to make some hummus. I put in a box of chickpeas, lemon, garlic, olive oil, tahini, cumin, and rock salt, and a bit of water, then I blend it all up. I absolutely love hummus. It's a great source of plant-based protein and also includes iron, folate, and B vitamins. Then I chop up some spinach and kale that I grew in my garden. It's honestly so easy to grow in pots and then you always have organic leafy greens on hand. I also chop up some cherry tomatoes and add them along with a hefty serving of hummus to my bowl. Once my mashed potato and beans are hot, I add them to and lunch is served. Honestly, this meal is so satisfying, so delicious, and so good for you. Okay, now as far as exercise goes, I honestly don't do a whole lot. I have four rescue dogs and they all need walked every day, so I do that. I probably end up walking for around 30 to 40 minutes each day. I was doing pregnancy yoga once a week too, which I really enjoyed, so I must start that up again too, because it was so relaxing and great for stretching. I'm not concerned about putting on weight or anything like that in this pregnancy, as I feel like my body is gonna do what it needs to do. I'm eating really well, which makes me feel good, and I personally think that as long as you're moving your body and staying active in pregnancy, you shouldn't put too much pressure on yourself. You're growing a whole new human and that in itself can be so tiring. So just do what you can to get your body moving when you feel like you can. For dinner tonight, I was feeling kind of tired so I decided to just use up the rest of the spiced beans and create burgers. I just popped some bread in the toaster, added the spiced beans, some hummus, of course, some greens from the garden, tomato, sauerkraut, vegan mayo and vegan cheese and it was delicious. I also cooked some homemade chips to go alongside the burgers which was literally just thinly sliced potatoes, olive oil, salt and pepper, and I roasted them. Seriously, such a tasty dinner and pretty quick and easy, but getting those nutrients in too. Hey guys, so I'm about to head to bed, but I just wanted to come on and say goodnight to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing what I cook and what I eat. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please come and follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram. That was the loudest cry ever. This is my Instagram handle here. It is at underscore Stephanie Lang underscore. I do loads of giveaways. I try to do one every week recently. And if you want to follow my pregnancy journey, that's where I've been doing my pregnancy updates as well. Thank you so much to FabFitFun for sponsoring this video and partnering with me. And thank you guys for watching. I love your guts and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.